Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title down here, I am doing my February wrap up and my March TBR. So I'll get straight into it with the first book that I read this month and that is Hecate on Creativity, There Are No Rules by, I think it's John Hecate. Yeah, I think it's John Hecate, I'll go with that. Um, I had to read this book for uni and I really enjoyed it. I got through this in like a day and a half, two days. Um, it's a really small little pocket book with um, each page is just a different idea um, to do with creativity and they have these really cute little illustrations you can't really see that but they've got really cute really funny illustrations on it um, in orange which isn't great they aren't easy to read if you're reading it in pretty much in the dark but well and this was just a really fun really insightful book um, it didn't really teach me anything new but I, as I said I read it for uni and if you're doing a creative course or you're in a creative job and you need something just to get your creative juices flowing, to get your brain going, just something to make you think. This is definitely a good one to pick up. It's nice and little so you can just chuck it in your bag. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Second and third books I read this month are actually um, comics and they are um, about Figment. Now, if you're a Disney fan or you've been to Walt Disney World, then you'll know that Figment is a character who's in one of the rides at Epcot. And I picked these up last year when I was in Florida. And they're just, they're really cute. The illustrations in these are absolutely stunning. Um, so you can see that. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, the pretty standard comic book style. The illustrations in the second one, um, I loved even more than the first. They were just amazing. Let's see if I can find one that I mean. Like this, I love. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, my main, I had a few issues with these. As you can probably see, they are really small they're absolutely tiny and these also have adverts in um as you can see there on the front on the inside cover and throughout they all have they both have adverts in and that really annoyed me because it just sort of disrupted the flow of the story a little bit and again these are tiny so there isn't very much content in them to begin with um and it just yeah the adverts has disrupted the storyline and they were just I, I just wanted more and it was great because I've got two but I haven't got another one and yeah they're just a bit small but I still really enjoyed them and the last book that I read in February was Saga Volume 3 now this is a graphic novel but it's a really it's compared to those two it's really thick this is the third in the Saga series and I loved it um normally the middle middle books my middle editions and series are never as good as the first two but this definitely was and near the end there was just there was this plot twist it just adds in it's done very sneakily this little plot twist and i guess some people may just slip by it but when i, when I spotted it i was like this is amazing i hope that this isn't something they just vaguely mention and then ignore it might absolutely love that and yeah this was just a, a, a fabulous continuation of the series if you've not picked up saga and you're over 17 or 18 definitely go and check it out um this is a little bit more adult but it, it's amazing the artwork the, and the visuals are absolutely stunning Let's see if i can find a page that's like okay to show in like this it's so action-packed the artwork is just stunning the art on the cover and on the back cover is the same as on the inside which I really enjoy and yeah if you haven't picked Saga up definitely pick volume one up and give it a go. So those were the four books slash comic books that I finished in um, February. Um, as I said in my February TBR I wanted to try and finish The Hobbit. I didn't but I got quite, I got through it a lot more than I had done in January. I am now 231 pages through so that far. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm loving seeing how it differentiates from the film, how it doesn't differentiate from the film in some cases. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying this. I'm, it's, I'm, it's taking me a while to get through. I think that's just because I already know the end. I already know, already know what's going to happen. I already, already know quite a few of the plot events from seeing the films. But I'm really enjoying this. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, hopefully, this, this is the first thing that's on my TBR for March. I can finish this. As I said, I am um, that far through. I'm, I'm a bit, I think... I'm over halfway now and hopefully I've finished this in March. Now, apart from that, I haven't hadn't really got any other ideas of things that I wanted to read in March. Um, I'm never really sure until I get to the point where I finish one book and need to read another and I just sort of grab one and hope for the best. But the other thing which I definitely want to read in March is Saga Volume 4. This is the, the most recent one, this is the latest one that's out. 
I think there's meant to be six in the series, this is number four, um, so once I'm done with this I'll be up to date. And I'm really excited to read this, really excited to see where the story goes, it's, am it's an amazing series, so if you've not read it definitely pick it up. So that's the end of my February wrap up in March TBR, just a little one. Um, as said, not really too sure what I want to read in March, but I hope I can finish The Hobbit and read Saga Volume 4 and then we'll see where it goes from there. What which books on my shelf take my fancy, if there's any new ones I pick up, that sort of thing. If you've got any video requests, as always, leave them below. And remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.